All right, and first and foremost, I would like to congratulate the fourth overall pick in the 21, 2021 NBA draft. He wears number four. He goes by the name of Scotty B, Scotty Barnes, Scotty Roy, taking home that absolutely well-deserved and well-earned Rookie of the Year, right in front of the fans here in Toronto. Congratulations to him. Absolutely well-deserved, well-earned. We all saw that coming. By far the best rookie in this year's draft class. Congrats to him. Happy for him, happy for the team. And he actually returned this afternoon to play against the Philadelphia 76ers. Raptors take this game, of course, this afternoon, making it a three to one series. Philly's up two games on them. Now, throughout the game this afternoon, Embiid, he, he looked like he was injured and he was definitely grimacing at his right-handed shooting thumb. I think it's his right-handed thumb. He's shooting arm. You can tell he was in noticeable pain. The referees were not going to fall for all of his flopping this afternoon. Throwing up his arms, begging, screaming for a whistle. He wasn't going to get none of that this afternoon. On the Raptors end, Freddie Van Fleet, of course, he was not himself today. He actually fouled and got himself out of the game towards the end of that second quarter, heading into the halftime. Whoa, there's a big gust of wind here. My apologies. But he clearly was not himself today. He continues to play through that hip injury he sustained earlier this season, not too long ago, around, around the All-Star break. He's still playing through that injury, but what I want to point out is the second Freddie came off the court, he did not return for the entire game. He came out towards halftime late in that second quarter. And once he was taken out, once he left the game, the Raptors just looked like a completely different team. Running the ball through Scotty, letting him play the point, letting Pascal play the point. Thad Young made some nice passes today. Gary Trent played a good game this afternoon. But as soon as Freddie went out of the game, you know, the Raptors, they really tightened up defensively and they just got their offense cooking. Siakam was cooking this afternoon. He dropped a 34 piece over the Sixers. He played very well tonight, obviously. From the last game where they played, missing those late game free throws on Achua and OG missing one. Toronto, they bounced back to them. They definitely looked like the more desperate team. They played harder throughout the entire game. But I, what I really wanted to point out in making this video is just to, to tell everyone, show everyone, I'm sure you saw it too, the second Freddie came out of the game, this team just looked like a completely, a totally different team. The ball was moving. It wasn't sticking. We were defending much, much better. We were able to stay in front of our guys. You know, we contained Joel. You can tell he's also playing through an injury with that thumb of his. Scotty played an all right game. He was, he was going up for every, every single rebound. This guy just plays with an incredible amount of energy. He's going up for every single rebound. But yeah, it's the 3-1 series now heading back into Philly for game number five, Monday night. You know, Doc Rivers has been notorious for blowing 3-1 series leads in the NBA playoffs in the postseason. So Raptors fans, Raptors faithful, Raptors family, this series is not over yet. Let's pick up some speed here. I like, I like Toronto's chances Monday night heading into Philly. You know, we'll see if Freddie's gonna play or not. You know, I don't mind him sitting out if we can play how we did today. The second he, he left the game, 
It's like they flicked the light switch. Toronto, they just play differently. And they played desperate. They played a polished team game. Towards the end of the game, the ball was kind of sticking to Pascal, but he was cooking them all night long, or I should say all afternoon long. He dropped 34 points on the Sixers. You know, Delano got some run in garbage time. Watanabe got some run. Uh, Malachi Flynn. So yeah, I don't know what else is much else to say in today's game. Toronto played and they looked like the more desperate team out there. And I just, I love how they, they started playing the second Freddy came out of the game. I mean, it just looked like a different team. Of course, the guy is injured, you know, you can't really fault him for that. He's not playing at 100% right now. But it's great to have Scotty back in the lineup. He didn't start, he played limited minutes, but the time that he did spend out there playing, he looked really, really good. He's a facilitator, he's a rebounder, he's a board man. You want to see the board man gets paid, right? All right, so game number five, Monday night in Philly. Let's see how she goes, folks. The series is not over yet. Just remember, Doc Rivers has blown 3-1 series leads many times in the past, and on those very teams, he had a lot more talent on them. Folks, Raptors Nation here, signing out. Let's go Raptors! Shit ain't over yet. <laughs>